Steve Potison's twins are just a couple of years older than the nine-year-old murdered in Wayne County, whose neighbor is charged in her death. I called up uh, my children's mother and, uh, you know, we talked about it and she said, that's why I don't let the kids, you know, go here or there. At the Westlake Police Department, Detective Lieutenant Ray R. Curry says parents should always keep an eye on their children, but when they can't, it's crucial to know the neighbors and which ones can be trusted. Just spend some time in the yard, maybe if you're washing your car or watering the grass and then strike up a conversation. If you're out for a walk or a jog, maybe talk to the, to the neighbors and get to know them. That's just what you know, we did when I was growing up. George Easton says he knows his neighbors well. In fact, he brought Steve some mail that was left at his house by mistake. But most people admit there are some neighbors they don't know. Yes. How come? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, some people are more talkative than others. Lieutenant R. Curry says if there's someone in the neighborhood who seems suspicious, be your own detective. I would go on the internet, encourage people to go on the internet and kind of research a little bit. Uh, maybe the sex offender website, uh, the muni court website, county court website, kind of look up and see what the people are into. You may be surprised uh, how close somebody lives to you that has a, a criminal past. This is a pretty safe neighborhood and the, the neighbors keep a good, good watch out, but uh, nowadays you just can't be sure.